Good morning and welcome one and all to part three of Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm your friendly neighborhood Oxhorn here as always with suspenders set under my shirt to maximum stun. Got a great show for you today. We're on day three of Horizon Zero Dawn. We just tracked down Sonya's war party. Sonya was the previous war chief who uh, was so enraged after her tribe was attacked that she raced after the assailants only to suffer horrible defeat. So we just tracked her down, major side quest, we're gonna continue with that and then continue exploring to try and uh, discover the, this world. The more I learn about this world, the more intriguing this game becomes. <clears throat> we are uh, starting to, to slowly and surely get a handle on the backstory to this world. Um, from everything I'm getting so far, I think we might be in New Zealand. I'm not sure, but two, or, two of the three or four pieces of lore we've found has uh, related to pre-war news regarding companies in New Zealand. So, seems to be odd to find that in, you know, Alabama. So, uh, we might be in New Zealand. Also, look, it's just... I mean, New Zealand, right? <laughs> it's gorgeous. But, um, yeah, we don't really know where we actually are. We don't really know what led to the entire world being destroyed. We're slowly going to be figuring this out over the course of several weeks while we play the game. But, updates. Uh, control. AWE. Tomorrow. Um, I don't know what time of the day it's going to be released. I've got very busy and hectic schedule, so I'm not, I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to start covering it, but I do know that I want to play Control AWE expansion as soon as it's available. And I also know that I want to continue with Resident Evil 7 tomorrow, so I'm not going to cancel Resident Evil 7 because Control is coming out, but I'm thinking of doing an extra live stream. Don't know for sure. Uh, dealing with a lot of just really uh, uh, frustrating uh, schedule issues right now in real life, mainly related to, to making sure that that I have nannies here available to watch the children so that I can work, basically, is what it's coming down to. So, um, <clears throat> um, I can't give you a, a definite yes or no whether or not I'm going to be able to stream tomorrow when Control comes out, but I'm hoping to. I'm hoping to. And then for Friday, um, I want I want to cancel Witcher 3 for Friday because uh, I either want to play Control or I want to play one stream of Wasteland 3. Um, I don't know if Wasteland 3 is the kind of game I really want to do a full live stream series about. Um, I'm intrigued by it. I, th I think the thing that, in that intimidates me a little bit about Wasteland 3 is all of the um, squad-based combat. I mean, I don't know if I'm a big fan of squad-based combat. I got into Fallout Tactics, the squad-based combat kind of turned me off. One of the reasons I haven't dived right into a new lore series on it. Um, but it does have squad-based combat, and it is interesting in its own way. So, you know, I, I, I do want to dabble in it. Don't know if I'm going to do a full series on it. So I'm trying to weigh my options and see if uh, once it comes out, which I think it's coming out tomorrow or Friday, um, maybe dedicating one live stream to that game just to sort of explore it and then continue with our regular schedule but control awe i know i want to finish that entire thing like that's that's a no-brainer i'm just we're going to dedicate as much as we can to that because it's that awesome so those are the upcoming streaming plans i am working on a lore video for the weekend i've got all of the audio recorded and edited just got to edit the video and the reason this one has taken a long time is because it's going to be over an hour long it's, it's one of those uh, quests in the game that it wouldn't make sense to split up into smaller episodes. So I had to make a really big episode, which means fewer episodes are coming out. So that's the, the deal there. Anyway, we are live on YouTube and Facebook. Good to see all of the regulars and members in the chat today. Weird Beard, Vladimir, Alt Grendel, Jessica Sharp, Amy Hudson, Akina Tana, Cloud Biggs, Saya, Isabella Kayful, Garmac Sane, 200 Angel, Quintayus, Jessica Sharp says, English puns make me numb, but math puns make me number. 
first pun slash dad joke of the stream. Thank you, Jessica. Chininator says, hey, Oxhorn. Hey there, Chininator. So good to see you today. Big major shout out to all of the mods, just in general, for keeping this stream as calm and as fun as it is. Really, the key to building good community on YouTube is, is really mods. I mean, that, this is just my opinion, but I've been to live streams where there are no mods and there's no chat restrictions and it's just everybody free for all in the chat. And you can't develop relationships with people in that kind of chat because everything flies by so fast and everything is just combative and there's spam and all of that. But with this, with a highly you know, moderated chat, we're able to allow people to interact with each other. And this is why it's a really friendly kind of community we've established here. So major thanks to all of the mods moderating today. Douglas Delagard says, I said the name of the game I mentioned last time is Mortal Shell. And hello, Oxhorn and all. Thank you, Douglas Delagard. I'll add it to the list. Edward Chapman says, confess, you wrote a novel. Uh, I did. Uh, it's not, I'm not trying to hide it. It's just, you know, you don't, you don't want to be that guy that starts every conversation with, Hi, I'm Oxhorn, and I wrote a novel. You, you just, you don't want to be that guy, right? So it's, I've got links in the description if you're interested. I wrote it well over a decade ago. Um, but it, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Wolf Dragon Tamer says, stopping by to say hi before jumping into Fallout 76. Well, hi there, Wolf Dragon Tamer. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope you have a good da a day in uh, Fallout 76. And it's great to see everybody in the Facebook chat today. Vince is sharing the stream, and Gilthard Gaming is sharing the stream. And it's good to see you. Kevin, Justin, Spencer, Jocelyn, Jeff, Jefferson, Lane, and Joe and Matthew. Good to see everybody on Facebook. Oh, and Jocelyn with a, a donation of 500 stars says, we're all for more Oxhorn. Thank you, Jocelyn. Well, here I am and here I intend to stay. Now, for the important part of the program, the part of the program we cannot go forward without completing. Today, I am smoking a brick house a uh, larger gauge cigar. I believe that's a 60 gauge. I could be wrong, but I'm really starting to fall in love with this brand of cigar. I mean, you know me, I, li I like my La Auroras. They're good, they're reasonably priced. You can get them for around a dollar a stick. They're hand rolled. I like them, but man, I, I feel like all this time I've been missing out because these brick houses are great. They're smooth, it has a nice silky Connecticut leaf wrapper on it, and uh, it's just a uh, Meaty. I don't know if that's you, you're probably you probably shouldn't describe a cigar as being meaty. That doesn't sound very appetizing, but it's dense. That's what I need. It's a dense. It's a dense cigar. It feels quality. So I'm really enjoying this. Now, yeah, where's my lap? Here? Boy, I can't tell you how eager I am to learn more about this universe. I want to know what happened. What was the downfall of this civilization? Milos says everyone was excited to be at our autopsy club this evening. It was open mic night. Oh, this is so dumb. <laughs> oh, it was so great. The dumb ones are the best. I don't know why, but they just crack me up. <laughs> open mic night, really? Oh, wake me up, coffee. Here we go. Open mic night. Jason Smith says, how can you cancel the Witcher Ox? You promised we pick up this week fighting the tailor. I know I really want to fight the tailor. I've, I've got to defeat the tailor, but you know, it's it's the timing. I mean, I would I would have 
cancel Horizon Zero Dawn if the timing had been different. But Control releases tomorrow, right? So I gotta... I don't know. If it, dis if it disappoints that many people, maybe I'll, I'll change my mind. But for the moment... Okay, where were we? Um, oh, we had just met up with Sonya. And then I had to log out. So she's waiting for us. Let's go find her. Apocalypse Eternal says, Joke. I put cola in the oven. I was baking soda. Thank you. Never know when I might need these. All right. Oh, wait, I can fast travel, can I? Oh, but it's going to take up a fast travel backpack. That's only 105 paces. We can get there. Let's parkour it up. Oh, yeah. Oxhorn parkour. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Cheyenne says, for your information, the Ancient Armory quest is a main quest long quest. You should check it out as it's helpful to see what you should be doing throughout the game. Ancient Armory? <clears throat> Uh, Ancient Armory, level 25. Find a use for the power cell. Right, I would do it, but it says it's level 25. Does that level not matter? If it doesn't matter, then I'll ignore it. All right, right now we're finishing this main quest, the War Chief's Trail. It's level seven. Milos says, I want a stream with a lot of deaths. I've got four days off. Cheers to all of you, my lovely friends. Well, Milos, I'll do my best. If you want deaths, maybe uh, tune into Resident Evil 7 tomorrow. I'll probably die more often then. But who knows? Maybe I'll die a few times here. Oh, that's right. We just completed the big battle here, which was really annoying because they kept pressing us down into this quarry. Is this a quarry? It kind of looks like a quarry. They kept wanting me to go down there, and they provided all of these uh, these rope slides down there, and they said, yeah, use your stealth, and I just sat on top of this cliff and picked everything off, and it was easy. Why make it harder for yourself? All right, let's talk with her. Actually, I should probably loot first, huh? Yep, I'll take advantage of that. Rabbit bone! <clears throat> uh, can I craft a new satchel yet? Not yet. I need rich meat and fox bone. Oh, I see. That's what the bones are for. Fish bone turkey skin, boar bone, fish bone, fox bone, boar bone, fatty meat, rabbit bone. So that's what the rabbit bone is for. It's the weapons satchel. I need one more rabbit bone and then I can make a weapons satchel. So I need to be killing critters all the time, huh? That looks like a chest filled with stuff, is it not? No. <clears throat> Hang tight, lady. I'll be right there. Razor lens and metal shards with chill water.
Ooh, what's down there? I don't want to fall to my death or anything. Oh, some sort of uh, mechanical totem. Well, I should probably go talk to her now, huh? Or are these the uh, bones of, or the bodies of beasts? All right, here we go. This wasn't all the killers. I counted more at the war party massacre. If I have to chase their filthy shadows from here to Spears Reach, I will. You're hurt, losing blood. My health is not your concern. No one doubts your determination, but you need rest. She's right, War Chief. Give your wounds time to close. Val, what are you doing here? I ordered you to hold that gate with your life. And so I did, until the runner you sent returned with news of his encounter with Aloy and your location. I left the gate well guarded. My place is here, with you, with our vengeance. Am I not owed that? Uh, maybe I should have a look around, see if I can figure out where the rest of the killers are. <laughs> Do as you wish. <clears throat> Everyone else does. <clears throat> Mother. Ooh. And she looks at her son. Alloy's like, yeah, this is, uh, this is a family moment. Think I'm gonna, gonna head on out. Uh, Jocelyn, with a donation of stars on Facebook, says, just popping in before returning to my, uh, to mail, uh, to my mail route. I'll be sure to catch what I miss on the replay. Shout out to all on Facebook and YouTube. Thank you, Jocelyn, so much. Good luck on your mail route. And thank you, Michael, for sharing the stream. All right, Sona. Uh, we need to look around. We need, to, we need to find tracks. Here we go. Oh, so then went up. It doesn't go this way? Huh. I think it would have gone this way. Ah, chest. Any more chests? Well, that's where the trail goes. A couple of critters off that way. That's about it. All right, so let's follow the trail. I'm guessing it comes out of here eventually. No, it goes deeper in. What? Oh, how did I miss this? Commanders. Over the past month, accidental blaze explosions have killed a dozen men. Here in the Ring of Metal, I've taken the precaution of placing our entire stockpile in a covered shelter, safe from stray sparks and lightning. And I've posted guards to control access. I urge you to take similar measures, or suffer the consequences. Supply Master Theron, out. Ooh. A blaze stockpile inside their base. Sabotage that. And we win. All right, their entire stockpile. Do we sabotage it or take it? Because we use Blaze. Do we have to destroy it? How did I miss that data pad? It must have spawned after I talked to Sona. Because I, I looked over here. Something fishy going on there. All right, Sona. Have you worked out your family uh, issues? I found something. The rest of the killers are camped inside a ring of metal. Any idea what that means? Damn them. 
The ring of metal lies in the ruins of Devil's Grief. That ground is taboo. I will return to the Matriarchs, beg them to make an exception. There's no time for that. I'm a seeker. Blood spilled calls for blood spilled. If the ground is cursed, then let our vengeance sanctify it. You blaspheme. Please, War Chief, break the taboo. Devil's Grief is a cursed place. But maybe Aloy's secret blessing can protect us. I'll send scouts ahead. Our force will assemble at the cliff above Red Echoes and launch our attack from there. Sounds like a plan. See you there. It's my seeker blessing. That'll do it. All right, talk to Varl. Wait, no, that's just... Here, come on. Can I talk to you, please? Aloy. There you go. Thank you. You might take that back when you see what I'm getting us into. Level 11! Okay, go to Red Echoes. Ooh, that's way up there. Okay, well this gives us an opportunity to tackle some of the other quests that we've accumulated up until this point. Insult to Injury. We need to talk to June. Um, so that just goes back there. All right, so we'll do that first. Oh, cool. All right, um, I'm trying to take a look at the ones that I can do. Can't do this one yet. A Daughter's Vengeance, it's level 15. Finished all my errands. There's a bandit camp. A Devil's Thirst. Uh, where's this one? Hey, that's close! Let's do it! We got the tall neck. There's the hunting grounds. I don't I don't like challenges. I've, I've never liked challenges in games like this. But maybe I should do it if I gotta be if I wanna be a completionist. Okay, well, let's uh let's go take out the bandit camp. How about that? Oh now I gotta figure out a way out of here. Get out of this quarry. I don't like it. Ooh, critters. Gotta kill those critters. Upgrade my gear. What is that? What is that? Oh! Oh, trick shot! <laughs> what is this? Pick up metal flower. The old ones didn't leave these. They're new growth. First metal flower found. What's a metal flower? Special items? Metal flower! Very rare. A rare metal flower prized by collectors. Trade sets of them in Merid Meridian for valuable rewards. Okay, so it's just a collectible. <clears throat> Cheyenne says, uh, level doesn't matter. You'll be 25 when you finish. Oh! Okay, so then I can ignore level recommendations on these quests. Well, then maybe I should do the uh, ancient temple thing.
Oh, I didn't get, um... Wait, where's the body of the wolf I killed? There it is. <clears throat> I didn't get a rabbit bone. Fox bone! Can I make anything with... <laughs> with my fox bone? What's fox for? Turkey, boar, fish, fox. Modification satchel. Okay. Alright, so how about this? Bandit camp, then... Uh, ruins. There were ruins over here, I believe. That we need to go to for the power cell quest. We'll try that. Harry Mason says, find them all, Ox. Gotta find them all. Find all the middle flowers. Inventory is gonna become a problem later, I'm betting. This'll last. Fatty meat. Alright, so I should probably go down here then. Uh, 272. This is a huge little world. I did get it. Turkey bone! Aw, oh, no turkey bone. <laughs> uh, Chibi says you can read a note about your flower ox that has a message in it. Check your, uh, your collections page. Collectibles, you're right. Oh, you're right. Code fragment downloaded. Function true orch orchid orchid breathing. Incense into butterfly wings. Function true. Orchid breathing incense into butterfly wings. What is that? I didn't know you could read it. That is so cool. So we finally scanned these guys. Weakness, fire, and tear. The rotor blades weak against tear. The blaze canisters weak against fire. Then there's this guy. What is this? A corruptor. Weakness, fire. So the grenade launcher itself has a weakness against tear. Same with the spike launcher. But overall, the body has a weakness against fire. Apocalypse says, thank you for keeping us sane and entertained, Ox. You're welcome, Apocalypse. Thanks for watching. Oh, we got a box. Farrell spoke of a bandit camp in some metal ruins. That must be the place there. Best to keep an eye out around here. Oh. Can I quick save? Nope. Bandits. Come on, gang, fight back! Oh! 
danger. Danger, Will Robinson. Maybe I should do a stealth takedown. That's a lot of bandits. Holy cow. Look at all those bandits at the camp. Saya says, speak to Nell on the other side of the camp before going in. Oh, okay. I mean, that is what my quest says to do, right? Turkey bone. Okay, let's go see Nil first. There's the prisoners. Wait, where's the prisoners? That's a lot of bandits. So headshots work. Oh, there's the prisoners. The for now. Let's see if we can find Nil before I get in any more trouble. Oop, that's in a tree. He's up there. Whoa, what's that? Ancient debris, ancient vessel drone hop. First achievement vessel found. Oh, ancient vessel drone hop. That's so cool. A cracked and battered vessel once dear to the old ones shows a curious flying machine. Sets, sets of ancient vessels can be traded in Meridian for valuable rewards. Oh, that's neat. Just an old plastic cup. Brett Bus says, headshots work. This message has been brought to you by Oxhorn. We're, we're learning new things on the program. I'm breaking new ground. Glad you came. You're glad. Why? Call it a shared interest. And call me Nil. Look there, those old rocks. A bandit clan squats under them. Disturb the rocks, and they'll come wriggling out. Worms that they are. Bandits. Why have they come here? The Nora are in trouble. Rumors spread like blood. With no braves to guard the border, killers hungry for sport slip right through. My partner and I shadowed these scum for days. Good tracker, but he went on ahead without me. We talked about this kind of behavior. Still, I understand. Leave it too long, your fingers itch for the bowstring. Say, 
How about you and I work together? Kill them all. All right, now let's talk first. I don't know you, and I have no reason to trust you. Trust is a rare egg to find, isn't it? I'm just a traveler, with a bow, concern about the state of these lands, and a missing partner. I don't think you're just anything at all. Hmm. Let me put it another way. Are you a bandit? <laughs> of course not. Then you have nothing to fear from. All right. All right. Someone has to stop them from hurting others. And we will. We'll stop them from doing anything. Save screaming a while. Go ahead and take the lead. I look forward to seeing what you're capable of. Okay, so there's a shot of the entire bandit's camp. That's the alarm. Let them sound it and more will come with them. It's a gift. And if you're the heroic kind who needs a little extra, there's the captives. Okay. All right, so... He said destroy the rocks and they'll come coming or come uh, tumbling out. I guess I don't know what that means. Now we did kill the sniper. I said I'd meet Marlon Sona near Red Echoes. Well, yeah, but I'm doing this right now. We might as well make good use of this sniper's roost that we've cleared to get a good shot in. Now, do they notice if their friends die? Gotta loot the dead before we do anything else. I keep resisting the urge to uh, reload. Slag shine glass. <clears throat> Round canister says, hey Ox, keep up the good work. You should consider playing Grim Fandango. Noir meets Day of the Dead, Dia de Muertos. Crazy good story and characters. I've heard really, I heard really good things of that of, about that game as well. So yeah, maybe one of these days I will. Well, that was a bad idea. Now I'm in sight.
Oh, health potions are, um... How do I use that now? Uh, there we go. Finally. All right. Another health potion. Wow. So yeah, you want health potions? Kill humans. Okay. Oh, look at that. That was just beauty, that. Well, that's what I get for bragging. You left. All right, a couple inside the ruins. Should probably clear them first, huh? Come here, you. Hey, look at that. Seeker, may I speak with you? Okay. Sure, John. Oh, he's a merchant. Okay, so he sells a couple of new weapons. War bow. Sharpshooter's bow. Handling goes down. Rattler, what is that? This close range bolt gun fires multiple projectiles with each shot and is best used when accuracy is not important as landing multiple hits. Can be modified. Ooh, cool. And then the shadow sling. I guess I should have used my sling when attacking big groups. I could afford these, but you know what? I don't know what I'm going to need to buy. Wow, look at all these outfits.
Free sample box, hey! Cool. Let's open up our free sample box. Oh, we've got two. A trap filled with blaze, when placed on the ground, it is triggered by proximity, damaging anything caught in its blast radius. All right, I should really start to use, uh, learn how to use traps. When placed on the ground, this trap will be triggered by walking damage. It explodes when triggered, damaging anything caught in its blast radius. Resist fire potion, resist freeze, resist shock, antidote, and then a shock trap. Okay. Hey, I can make my, uh... Yeah, let's do this. So I need uh, one more rabbit bone, two fox bone, two boar bone, two fish bone, one fish bone, one turkey. This is just fatty. Oh, that's a boar bone as well. Fish. Am I going to go fishing? Oh, I need a fox skin for this one. I'm honored. I, all mother be praised. Are you all right? Is there something you need? Yes. My friends and I watched you clear the bandits out of this camp. We're glad. They would steal from us, chase us through the night laughing. We're outcasts, not braves, almost defenseless. Where did you all come from? Some of us have wandered the sacred lands for years. As for me, the village I grew up in was burned in the Red Raids. I'm ashamed I wasn't there to protect them, but I was an outcast long before the Karja came. How did you all come to be here together? You wonder how we speak to each other when the law forbids it. But what hope do we have here, outside the embrace, alone? I wasn't judging you. I was an outcast once. Forgive me. You're right to ask. I convinced them to speak. I told them we were only sentenced to be outcast, not to die out here. An intelligent approach. How did you come to be an outcast? I was a fool. I refused to do what I was told. Never went hunting when I could sit under a tree instead. I argued with my family every step, picked fights with other braves, one day, such a fight grew fierce. I got a lucky hit, an unlucky one. He went down, and there was no one left to speak for me. I deserve to be an outcast. You seem different from the person you describe. I hope to be. Uh, Virenth says, you made me play that game and I just finished. You should scan combat zone with focus and tag every blit before engaging to keep track of them. That's a good tip, thank you. We are all outcasts, but we need to stay together to survive. This camp we once hated could serve us well now. Would you let us stay here, even if it flies in the face of the matriarch's laws? Of course, by all means. Oh, I'd hoped you'd say so. You, you're an inspiration to us. Thank you. That's me. Okay, and we get a new little town with a new merchant. Well, I want to loot everything. We killed a lot of guys. Where are the bodies? There's a ruin over here. I wonder if we'll find anything interesting inside. Looks like it may just be a wall.
Now here we go. So I guess by killing all the bandits, I automatically free the prisoners. That's cool. So purple are guys I can't interact with. Ancient debris. What have we here? Shock trap. A regular ancient charm. So most of those are just worth selling. Can I read any of those books? Could have snuck in there. It's interesting going over the battlefield once the battle is over and seeing all of the other ways I could have gone about this. I could have climbed up there too. Ooh. All right, so I need to talk to Nil, but I want to make sure I don't miss any of the bodies. There we go. Training dummy. Couple more bandit bodies over there, bandit sniper. Oh, and the save point. Oh, I can't use that. Well, it looks like I'm going to be leaving lots of potions behind. No space. So I'm trying to... There we go. Okay, well, now we need to go meet our friend down there. I think we looted it all. Wait a minute. Oh, he's over here. Feels good, doesn't it? Hold it inside you one last breath. Then let it out. Ugh. I didn't find my partner. Creeps they me killed. out. I hardly feel surprised. He was already getting cocky when we carved through the last guy in camp. I thought he and I were agreeing. Only enjoy the killing as much as the challenge. No great loss. Nothing in the wilds I can't handle. Just me and the voice of our teeth here. 
Your bow has a name. Yours doesn't? You're not just a traveler. That armor was fitted for you. And the way you hold your bow. I said a concerned traveler. And I was a soldier. But I was a soldier longer than there was a war to fall. Where the arrowhead passes between armor and skin, that's the place I want. So I make opportunities to find it. That's why I'm coming home. Have you ever thought about hunting machines? Well, they don't get that look in their eyes. So he just likes hunting bad people. Did bandits wrong you somehow? They wrong us all. They live filthy lives, so they have to die that way too. So you hunt them down to help others? No, no. For sport. <laughs> I can't wait for wars anymore. Life's too short and the thrill of death too short. If you kill a tribesman, I'll be retribution. Hunt a boar, they complain if you waste the meat. But bandits, they're vicious. They always put up a fight, and no one cares if you kill them. Well, so... He's not a moralist. He's not doing this uh, out of the goodness of his heart. He's doing it because he's a sportsman. And it's all about the hunt. Well, it's for the greater good. I... I guess you're doing the right thing for the wrong reason. I'm doing what I love. And what could be wrong with that? Goodbye. We're done here. Here? I'm afraid so. But we live in a world of ruins, and bandits are drawn to them like infection to a wound. You wouldn't let that infection set in, would you? I'm sure we'll meet again. Maybe. If it can't be helped. Well, she if clearly doesn't like him. By, we'll know it by her. Milos says that guy is the Punisher. Ah, getting that vibe. Okay. Let's see. Um, so. Ancient Armory. Find a use for the power cell. Alright, so since this doesn't, doesn't have a... Um, since the level doesn't really matter, I guess we'll do this one. And we get to explore a ruin. Well, let's go to this campfire. And it's over there. Making sure I didn't miss any lore in these ruins. Oh, the sawtooths have respawned. Rains will take forever to dry. Well, uh, I can go around them. They're not why I'm here. All right, I'm not seeing any data pads or anything. Uh, besides the one, besides the one I already found. Down. 
Guess I should check my inventory before I attack, huh? Whatever happened to my mount? Didn't I have a mount? Well, if I can come upon another one, I'll try and tame him instead of killing him. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I like how she looks fatty meat and goes, Mmm, tasty. Virant says, Ox, you will see a cube in your HUD compass on top when lore ob objects are nearby. Also, you can buy map of ancient vessels and other object objects from some kind of traveler. Okay, cool. You'll see a cube on your HUD when lore is nearby. Thank you for that tip. I didn't know that. Okay, uh, well, let's figure out how to get in here. Hello. There's a save point down there. Maybe I should get that first, because it's really close. Oh, I've, that's the one I already got. Oh, okay. Well, can't get down there from here. Maybe I can... What is that? Looks like this is where we need to go. Oh, it's down here. Hmm, I wonder. Find a use for the power cell. Oh, yes. Ancient ruins. This is what I'm all about. A metal flower. Oh, is that water down there? Can I just jump down into the water? Alley up! Oh, yeah. I mean, that was really shallow water. I probably shouldn't have done that, but... I survived! Yes. Function true. When this pine sapling grows to flower, who'll be here? Function true. Ooh, so they used... Oh, so these are satellites. Well, no, these were shot down from satellites to reflower the earth. Huh. Repollinate the planet. This is a cave. It's a room. Is that like power armor? I think the old ones use numbers like this to indicate time. Secure encryption port with holographic display. numbers. 
They must be related to segments of a circle. What numbers? I think they're giving me these dialogue bits a bit early because I don't see any numbers yet. There we go. There's the numbers. I haven't seen one of these since I was a little kid. Twelve hundred fifteen eight eighteen twenty one, so that's time. Military time. These devices are missing power cells. I'll have to find power cells to get these to work. There, fits. I just need to slot in one more. Hey, sweet! One more power cell and I get some super awesome armor! Sean Fornango with a tip, thank you. I'm not getting in. Midnight, nine o'clock. So... I, don't, I guess I don't understand why there's a clock here in military time. I don't know what that does. All right, and, it's, and we're not going to get any lore here. Is that the uh, the idea? Okay, well, that was cool. Let's get a better look at that armor while we're here. Whoa. Ultra Weave Trials. View the notebook. Ultra Weave Trials. Uh, trial 49B, October 3rd, 2065. Pass threshold 85 of 100. Results Ballistic Test 91, Shrapnel Test 87, Laser Test 88, Shield Integrity 86. Kingslayer says, Ox, did you get the power cell from the Mother's Heart when you woke up after the attack? I did. That's the one that I just put in there. Impact torso, 51 impact arms, 62 impact legs, 43. Notes, Weave is not tightening properly on local impact tests. We need to optimize existing sensors or add more. Then it goes through another trial. Sensor optimization successful. The torso protection still lagging. Recommend increase weave intensity and it goes through another trial getting there on the weave density and the detection components but an integration error on the left knee tanked the impact test ouch subject isn't going to be able to walk that one off surgery required oh test subjects another door back here. There are a couple of other doors back there. And another, um, oh, we can only, oh, that's the same one. No, that's it. So that's the hollow lock with the broken fuses. Looks like there's another set over there. And inside a supply crate. Power armor, I want it! Oh, but we gotta go back for now, I guess. Well, wait, how do we get out of here? Guess we have to fast travel out? Can we climb vines?
come on, where's my world map? Here we go. Okay, quests. Restore power to the bunker door. Now I understand why it's level 25, because we need two of the power cells and we only got one. Uh, Daughter's Vengeance. Let's see, where's this one? That one goes all the way back up there. Insult to Injury. And that one goes all the way over there. Well, I guess that's the closest one. Because the main quest is going to bring us way up there. Oh, that's actually the next closest. Talk to Miria at Mother's Crown. Okay, so let's go to Insult to Injury. And I guess the best way to fast travel would be... Charles says you can get out without fast traveling. Just look for the correct wall spots. Oh, I can. So I can climb some of this wall. Oh, look at that. You're right. Oh, she's so cool. Love it. All right. So this shouldn't be too bad. How many meters? Oh, okay, that's that's actually pretty far. Looks like we gotta get through quite a few baddies over here. We're good! Aha! Oh, there's that guy right there. I wonder, can I tame those guys? I can't override that machine. But if I could learn more about it. I can't override it. I can't.
Oh, well, I got that one. I mean, I'm, I'm not, I don't, I don't even need to go this way now, but I feel, like I, I feel like I need to finish killing this herd. Oh, really? Look at that. My arrow was hovering mid-air. I totally had that shot. Getting all sorts of blaze. Freeze coil. Cool. Uh, Jessica Sharp says, go back to the your first Metal City Ox. Which one is that? The one I explored as a child? Or, or the ruins by the tall Strider guy? Matthew says, the second power cell is in the ruin of the Embrace. The ones you explored as a child. Oh! Oh! Thanks to both of you. Okay. Sounds good. Well, let me do this one first, since I'm, I'm a, I'm a ways away. But then, that's this one right there. Okay, let me go do this first, since I have it active, and then we'll go south. Those are ones I can tame, right? I can just run through all this. Hey, you fellas. <laughs> bye bye now. <laughs> that makes it easier. Did I just stump? I just, I just stumped on some rabbits. <laughs> I got two wildlife kills. Oh yes. Well, I might as well. I killed a goose. I can get out of this. Where's the other one that I killed? Oh well. Well, that's an easy way to get some wildlife kills.
dang it! Okay, well, I guess I shouldn't have driven uh, right through there. Note to self. Don't just ride through things. Milo says, at least no horse punching. Oh, no, I'm all the way back here. Doggone it. All right. Let's go to the campfire. And let's fast travel to the other ruin. Get that other power cell. Then we'll go back to June. Big Gun says, Ox Carla, Karya sh Sharp Shot Bow is your main bow for most of the game. Okay, thank you. Okay. Let's see if we can sell some stuff with this guy. Sell. This stuff, I don't need anything, right? Yeah. Crafting, 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 trading, crafting. I'm only going to sell the stuff that's that I only get shards for, like that. Those are not in crafting. Okay. There we go. Alright, to the Metal Ruins! So take the road to the east and then just south a bit. Oh, another merchant? I don't think I need anything right now. Fatty meat. I'll find a use for you. Oh, there it is. Okay. Now, what was I not able to explore this earlier? Place. I haven't been here in years. Wonder what I can find. Those rats? Possums. Yeah, I can't kill him. Search the rat, tiny meat. Mm. Okay, I remember this. I explored this. Oh, 
So you're saying there's a power cell here that I missed as a child. Hey, I was too uh, young and weak at the time. Look at that. Can't get through there. I can't. I'd have to leave something else behind. What did I not be? What was? Oh, the health potion. That's it. So what's that about uh, post-war items found in pre-war uh, pre locations? Looks like uh, Fallout Universe is not the only one to make that error. We heard that one. So we've been in this room. I saw them lining up in the community room. Like cattle and a sl And we heard that one as well. Alright, so we've been in this room. We just came from there, and that's the staircase that we just came down. And then what am I missing? No way, that's the staircase we just came down. So... This is a different staircase. But I've been here. If it's unread lore, you'll see it on your compass. Thank you. Yeah, this is the spot where I was saved, right? Close to here. Scan ox, I mean I'm scanning left and right. Seeing a lot of rats. This just leads back to the cave. Well there is a spot down here. This is the hole I originally fell into. The bats are still there.
Wonder why rats would be here. You'd think that there wouldn't be any food after a bazillion years. Ooh. Hey. Metal flower. Function true. Light of the moon moves west. Flowers shadows creep eastward. How did that get here? Oh, it punched through from way up there. Okay, well, I got a star. Cool. That goes upstairs. Zach says, check for stalagmites blocking doors, Zox. Will do, thank you. I got a metal flower. Now I just need to find the other power cell. Hey. Yeah. What is this? Ooh, I just unlocked a new wing. Nothing. Ooh. Oh, it just overlooks this. Milos says, uh, someone asked me to name two structures that hold water. I was like, well, damn. Nice. That's a nice one. Thank you, Milos. Interface unavailable. So this is the room I was in before. Okay, so that's how I unlocked the door all the way back then. But it's still unlocked. Hey, here we go. That area back there. Yeah. Power cell! Oh, another power cell. This should help me get to that ancient armor.
All Good Things. From Director Evans, subject, All Good Things. To all staff, I regret to inform you that our worst fears have been realized. The Wichita salient has collapsed. <clears throat> and our position will be overrun in less than 24 hours. As I'm sure you understand, exfiltration transport is not available. If you wish to abandon the facility and try your luck on, your, on foot, you may do so. Lock 2 will unseal at 2100 hours and remain unsealed for 15 minutes. Godspeed. For those of us who'd rather not die on our feet, there will be a gathering in the community room at 2200 hours, and Nurse Chena will make other means available. The suicide that we read about earlier. I want to underscore how proud I am of each and every person who served at this post. It is important to bear in mind that our sacrifices were not in vain. I hope that makes this a little easier. For months now, I've been signing off messages as Director Evans, but I suppose I can dispense with such formalities now. Respectfully, Ellen. The Wichita salient has collapsed. What is the Wichita salient? But I think this can help explain why there are still people here. Everybody in this ancient ruin committed suicide, but for 15 minutes they opened the door and allowed people to escape. Perhaps these people were descended from, perhaps all of these tribes are descended from the survivors. Okay, we've been here. Okay, now to get our power armor. There's a lot more, you're a little off there. Okay, so th is that not it? Let's do this. Maybe there's a clue nearby. Okay. I think the old ones use numbers like this to indicate time.
Oh. Oh, they're clocks. No, 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 no. Maybe there's some more information nearby. Something that will tell me how this works. Looks like each dial has four positions. Um, maybe if I get each dial in the right position. I wish I could figure it out before they... Oh, but they can't be clunks. There's not enough. I mean, 1,200 is up. 13 would be... Or 3 o'clock would be... Eight and six. Twenty one is nine. Did it. Now to check the door. There we go. Those clamps have the armor locked in place. Maybe there's a way to power up the mechanism, release the clamps. Oh no, I gotta get more doggone power cells. Oh, I just want the power armor. Look at that. That is so cool. I just want it. I want it now. <laughs> okay. Ultra Weave. Oh, this is the trial we... Oh, this is a new one. Weave is not tightening properly. October 65. Yeah, October October 3rd, 65. Weave is not tightening properly on local impact tests. We need to optimize existing sensors or add more. Sensor optimization successful, but torso protection still lagging. Recommend increasing wave density. Oh, this is the same one we read. Oh, I thought we got a new one. Guess not. Well, at least we got the supply crit, uh, crates. What is it that I'm missing? Yeah, it's the health potions. Health potions drop like candy, uh, inexplicably in pre-war vaults like this. Just need to install these power cells. That should do it. Two more. Or three more, really? Three more? Oh yeah, three more. And then what's the time on here? 92, 73, 64, 50. Oh, it'll be a different thing. Debris, maybe? It's Ballistic Weave, Ox, is it really? These numbers... They must be related to segments of a circle. Yep, degrees. All right, so we did time in the last one, degrees in the next one. I know how to unlock it. I just need more power cells. You got the new one and open old one. Oh, is that what I did? I got a new one, but I opened the old one. Oh. Ultra Weave Progress. Oh, thank you, everybody. This is the one I just picked up. From Major Garrow to General Aaron Harry is subject Ultra Weave Progress. General, you wanted fast, cheap, and good, and that's what we're going to deliver by using a flexible nanofiber weave instead of plating and enhancing protection with the 400 EV hard light micro projector. We've reduced our testing cycle from weeks to days, and I'm confident we can get the suit out by next month. With, <clears throat> with enough production to cover dozens of elite units at least, better yet, it'll be half the weight, half the cost, and offer twice the mobility. All we need is the balance of our funding, a few more techs, and another experienced test subject. 
I know resources are stretched to the breaking point, but at mo uh, any more delays will jeopardize the schedule. So pr please advise ASAP. May God be with you and Jane in these dark times. Semper Fi, Major Garo, he was a Marine, speaking to a Marine. This is Earth, clearly. It is not some fantasy world. This is Earth. All right, well, got to keep an eye out for power cells now. Now, where were we? We, uh, we died trying to go north to June. Well, let's try and do that again. This time, let's not ride right through them. I'm starting to think mounts may be a liability in this game. Man, she has the athleticism of an Olympian. Super impressive. Okay, now let's switch quests to insult to injury since that's closer. And it's still really far out there. But that's the closest one we have. Uh, all right. Well, let's go quick save by the campfire and then follow the road. Harry Mason says, Wichita is Kansas, Ox. That should say something. Yeah, I know Wichita is Kansas, but uh, it was it was named after the, Wich the Wichita Salient, right? She saw me. Well, doggone it, I guess I could have turned him into a mount, but I didn't even see him there. Looks like there are more. There we go.
Well, I know I'd, I should have learned a lesson and not run through things, but maybe we can run through here since it's nice and open. When we get to where we died last time, then I'll um, activate quest Revenge of the Nora. What? What was that? Revenge of the Nora? Alois, Sona, and Varl have discovered that the killers go and meet up with Varl and Sona. Yeah, I, why did that just update again? They have a base in Devil's Grief. Better watch for the shield lights to the trees. Okay, I'm getting close to where I died the last time. I'll dismount here in just a bit and go up on foot. Though I don't see them. Harry Mason says, you really punched that one, Ox. Punched it in the butt. Look at that. The override receptor is right there in the butt. Campfire discovered. Where was that? All right, things are getting a little hard to go on, keep on mounted here. Oh, over there? Yeah, there is a campfire. I haven't got there yet. Oh, we got to do mountain climbing now, so let's just dismount for now. There was another one. Yeah, I can't bring him out here. Oh, <laughs> how she did that, I'll never know. How do I call for my mount again? Oh. If I get too far away, will it disappear? Is that how this works? I hear you, June. I'm locked in. Oh, I'm Someone. coming. Anyone? Sorry, June. Got a loot. Please. Ooh, two gambler's boxes. Let's take a break here and gamble first before we help this poor guy. Hey. Oh, cool. I'm locked in. Someone! Is someone there? Oh, mother be praised. I thought I'd never be freed. What happened? A gang of outcasts, that's what. They burst in, stole my dream willow, and left me to die. A gang of outcasts? Yes, a gang. The door crashed open. I didn't stand a chance. 
they grabbed my dream willow and left me for dead. Why would outcasts steal your dream willow? Why? Because it's the most valuable herb I gather, of course. Miserable thieves. They took nothing else? No. Mark my words. They have struck a deal with outsiders. It shards thereafter, and they'll kill to get it. So by the time I finally get this dream willow, our patient is gonna be dead. Which way did the outcasts go? Up the mountain, I think. You might catch them if you hurry. Whatever you do, don't let their shabby looks fool you. They'll kill you as soon as look at you. Mm. Oh, I need to catch my breath. Yeah, you something. Start talking for a start. No, she didn't buy that story. Yeah, something bothered me about that story too. I'll be on my way. Show no mercy. Arr, show no mercy. Arr. The outcasts must have left tracks. My focus. Well, someone left here recently, and they were in a hurry. Well, someone was here. He wasn't lying about that, but were they outcasts? Or bandits, maybe? I don't want to lose my mount. Can my mount even get up here? Probably not. took the dream willow and they're in trouble in time. Holy cow. 
Jeez, I ran out of ammo and I have to I had to craft bows when I was right in the middle of that. <whistles> Alright, well we got him. Now let's find out whether or not these really are a bunch of thieves. Mackiel says, what kind of animal you think the machines are, Ox? Funny side game while you come across new machines. Well, the sawtooth are supposed to be like saber tooth cats, I guess. Kernst, and then other outcasts. All right, we'll talk to them in a minute. Hold on, Kerns, I got a loot. You have our thanks, if the gratitude of outcasts means anything to you. It does. You not only save us, but speak to us. The matriarchs cast me out at birth. The laws of the Nora don't mean much to me. And you're that girl whose mother never claimed her. But an outcast no longer. No. A seeker, in fact. Looking for Dream Willow. Hmm. That could be a problem. Why did you take the Dream Willow? Because we have wounded. Why else would we take it? Something terrible has happened to the tribe. The Braves offer no protection. The machines are angry, and bandits infest the sacred land and prey upon us. Why else would outcasts break custom and band together, but that we have no choice? Even so, we did not steal. We left shards in the stashes and tried to pay John. But of course he would not speak to us. What crimes did you and the others commit? I beat a man who stole my kill. It was my wrong. The others stole, broke custom, or trespassed among the bones of the metal world. No murderers here, if that's what you're asking. John said you roughed him up. He was too busy cringing to know what happened. The man's a coward. We made sure not to hurt him, not that he seemed to notice. There are others who need Dream Willow. You can't have all of it. You asking or demanding? Talking. One person to another. I see. Perhaps we have more than we need. After everything that happened, we were afraid. We took all we could find. Here, I'll keep a portion, but the rest... May it find its way to those who need it. I'll see that it does. In the meantime, stay safe and stick together. Okay. Uh, well, we didn't really have an option to like offer our judgment. We just sort of learned his story. Um, but we got the Dream Willow. You gave us a better deal than Matriarchs ever would have. Thanks. You're welcome, buddy. Where are we now? We kind of climbed way up into here. Oh. Can I just follow this plane south? Would that be faster than going through the mountains? Oh, it looks like I can't. Hey, Ox, braid your beard, says Tony Elbows. My beard isn't long enough to braid, sadly. Here, then I can open this treasure chest. Traps or potions? Health potion. Well, I just used a health potion. Oh, because I'm full life. Never mind. All right. It would look cool, though, says Clell. Yeah, if my beard was that big, but it's not. Uh, so we do got to go through the mountains.
Oh, this is treacherous. There's my mount. Here's the Dream Willow. Take it to Fia and Mother's Rise. There are wounded braves there who need it badly. I will. But what became of the outcasts? Did those wretches pay for their crimes? Ganging up together, speaking to each other, and to us. I hope you showed them no mercy. You don't know who I am, do you? Should I? I was raised as an outcast in the mountains above Mother's heart. The motherless girl. If I'd known, I never would have spoken to you. <laughs> Time to look in the mirror. How about I put you in your place? An outcast helped you, remember? Uh, let's try heart. And yet it's this motherless girl who freed you and recovered your dream willow for the tribe. Maybe if you judged people less, you wouldn't be so lonely. I have no need of others. Then congratulations, Jun. You've managed to shun yourself. I'm done here. Make sure that Fia gets that Dream Willow, or I'll be back. Ooh. And a threat. I'll take the Dream Willow to Fia. But you had no right to speak to me as you did. Okay. Well, done. Uh, now let's see. The maid quest is sending us way up there. Daughter's Vengeance, where does that go? Okay, not far. So we'll do Daughter's Vengeance. Uh, can I fast travel there? No, I can't. But I can take my mount. Hey, level 12! All right! Come on, horse. Or whatever you are. What would, a, what would a strider be? Like a panther, maybe? It doesn't really feel like a horse. Oh, how am I going to get down from here? Oh, there's a path. Ooh, campfire! A horse really it doesn't really look like a horse oh I guess I can see it now yeah it's got hooves yeah you're right it's a horse oh that's a long drop can we get by come on horse don't be afraid no not back up down Oh, that got it, stinking horse. A quick way down. That's what I'm all about. Ancient toothpick, cool. <whistles> How are you gonna get down? <laughs> He's just gonna, st no, don't fall. Come on, how are you gonna do it? You can do it. Oh, he's just not even gonna bother. Miwi says, I thought it was a snuggle everyone horse. Well, may maybe it is. Come on. He's stuck. That is the fast way down, but I was, I was trying to go the long way because I wanted to keep my horse, but... He's not having any part of it. Oh! Where did you come from? <laughs> Sneaking up behind me like that. 
Well, I'm glad you made it back. Buddy. No, not up there. What are you doing? Stop climbing. There we go. That's better. I want to run by these guys again. I know what happens when that happens. Just sneak by and go this way. Quest available. Mother, this must be Mother's crown. So I it's should spreading. stay around here somewhere. The corrupted machines. They're everywhere. Hey, new quest. Next time, I'll remember what the Matriarchs do. Virent says robo horse noises. No, bad human. Go away. I just want to stand on this rock and harvest grass. That's what he would say. So many wounded. The tribe's been hit hard. What happened to you, Hunter? Are you all right? Oh. I'm grateful for this wound. It's a lesson I won't forget. And you should heed it too. Mm. How's that? I was chasing a galloping grazer, so intent on my prey that I didn't see where I was going. Right to the threshold of a cauldron. Cauldron? A cauldron? What's that? Well, ah, you're from inside the embrace, so you've never seen one. A cauldron is a sort of door, I guess. No one knows what lies beyond. Hey! Some say machines are made inside. Others think they're dens of evil, where the spirits of the metal devils linger. Same thing, I suppose. Whatever they are, they're forbidden. This willful tribal ignorance just feels so... unrealistic to me. I mean, I don't know enough about this universe yet to really give my thoughts... <clears throat> but you'd think that any post-apocalyptic society would have some sort of cultural memory of the technology of the past and how it could be used. Is the apocalyptic event so horrible that it really ingrained the idea that all technology is bad in, in, in this one tribe? That they just don't even talk about it and they speak of it in mythical terms? You mentioned a lesson before. What did that wound teach you? As I stood before the cauldron, my prey scampered off and I stared, dumb with wonder. For a moment, I was a child again, wrapped from stories told by hunters at the campfire. I had a powerful desire to see what was inside. Curiosity. That's when the Watcher attacked. Oh no, it's Cauldrons bad. are guarded, you see. I barely fought it off and got the scrape as a reminder. There's a reason the matriarchs forbid those places, and not just because they're dangerous. We weren't meant to see what's inside. I'll never waver again. This scar will see to that. Mm. But for a moment, you felt something. A sense of discovery. Are you so sure that's a bad thing? Has to be, right? Or I wouldn't have been punished. Or maybe you were just careless. Could be that. Roll Tide says, hey, love your Fallout videos. Thank you, Roll Tide. Where can I find this cauldron? My point is, you shouldn't. Then describe the place I should avoid. Mm. You're a clever one. But not so clever as to heed my warning, I see. Fine. You're grown. I can't stop you. It's dead north of here, past the red drifts, built into the side of a mountain. Ooh. 
Just remember, I told you to stay away. Cauldron Sigma. See where that is. What is that? Awesome. Another quest! You're the seeker. The one who was an outcast. My hunting party. My party has... You fought the killers, didn't you? The ones that attacked in the Proving. You saved many lives. I wish I could have saved everyone. Did you... Did you... How far did you follow the killers? What are you getting at? Are you worried your hunting party has been killed? There are worse things than being killed. Really? Like what? Weird Beard says it will all make sense in time, Ox. You're comparing this against regular post-apocalyptic uh, storylines. I mean, you're right, I am. So I just need to give the game a chance. Which I'm doing, and I'm having a great time. What was your hunting party doing? After the proving, we were so angry. We wanted to strike back, and those corrupted machines left tracks we could follow. We caught up to them at dusk. We fought with all our burning hatred. But in the dark and chaos, I... I couldn't see everything. They stampeded, and, and then I was alone. I ran back here, but my party is... Your party is... Gone. What's worse than being killed? I'm... I'm not like you. I can't live as an outcast. I'm afraid. My friends went into the ruins. I can't go there or I will be cast out. But I can't abandon them either. Tell me what you want. Speak plainly. Find my friends. We were so eager to fight the corrupted machines. We didn't realize we'd reached the edge of the ruins. You're a seeker. You can enter Devil's Thirst without judgment. But please, have pity on us. Don't tell anyone we were there. You have nothing to worry about on that end, trust me. I'll see what I can do about your friends. All right. Sanctuary. Level 10, where does that go? Oh no, all the way down here? I explored the snot out of this area. That's farther away than the cauldron. But I can fast travel there. We've got more quests. Next time, I'll know what you're to do. I'll never see a crew of machine. Here she is. You give me they made her a seeker. Come here, girl. Let's have a look at you. All right, I'm coming. The girl with the mark of a seeker. The sentinel saw you coming. You're Maria. Varl told me you'd know the way to Meridian. The Karja capital. West will take you to it, but their soldiers will stop you long before you get there. They can try. No, what I mean is there's a Karja fort that guards the pass between East and West. Word is the Karja have sealed the gate out of fear of the corrupted machines infesting our sacred land. So if I clear out the corrupted machines, they'll open the border? I suppose, but I can't spare any braves to help you. Who said I needed help? <laughs> You'll clear the valley all by yourself. She's got bravado. I'm good with a bow. For your sake? Better than good, I hope. So I'll find this Karja fort to the west? And beyond that, Meridian? Yes, the Karja call the place Day Tower. It's not far from the Forsaken Village. What Forsaken Village? It had a name once, not that it matters now. I was born there. What happened to it? The war. The Karja destroyed in one of their red raids. I was 15 at the time. I got away, others weren't so lucky. The Nora withdrew to this place, Mother's Crown, relinquished our claim on the valley. Even now, with the war behind us, we've left the valley be. A kind of buffer between the Sundom and our sacred land. How far has the corruption spread? I've seen it myself in machines at the head of the valley, and there's been word of corrupted machines in the south, too. Whatever the corruption is, it doesn't just affect machines. It burns flesh and sickens the injured. Really? Do the corrupted machines have any weaknesses? Fire seems to affect them more than ordinary machines. A small mercy. 
This is a curse only the Goddess can lift. Unless we find out what's behind it and put a stop to it. The Matriarchs have spoken, Aloy. All we can do is fight and pray to the Goddess. So it can't be a virus. I thought that the corruption was a virus because it infected machines, but it, inf it, it can hurt people as well. So something that can hurt people and machines that can, that's contagious? I'm really intrigued, and now... Mother's crown guards the edge of the sacred land, right? So do you see a lot of foreigners here? Yes. Not here in the village itself, of course, but in the valley beyond. Since the war ended, foreigners have been allowed in the valley, and Nora can trade with them, if they choose. It's a kind of in-between place, neither foreign nor sacred land. If you're curious, visit Hunter's Gathering. It's little more than a heap of dingy shelters and tents, but foreigners use it as a way station. Sounds like a place where I could find out more about Meridian. So you're in charge of the defenses here? Mother's Crown defends itself. During the war, it survived 15 assaults, broke three invasions. We will endure. Trying to live up to glorious pasts has a way of getting people killed. You wouldn't know this, but I won the Proving the Year I ran. Like you, I started off behind, had to find a shortcut. I barely made it, crossed the finish line with a broken ankle. This isn't the Proving, Morea. This is real. You missed my point. Getting posted to Mother's Crown? It was the boon I requested. My prize for winning. Trying to live up to the glory of the Nora hasn't killed me yet. But if it has to, I'm willing. Milos says, if you rearrange the letters of mailman, they get really upset. The letters, is, he capitalized the word mailman, so it looked, yeah. No, that's a good one. Thank you. I should be going. All right. Be careful out there, Aloy. I hope you find whatever it is you're after. Can't I just want mommy. Mother on a day like this. Oh, mother, remember her. She was a good Next woman. Time, okay, we need to clear the corrupted zones, but let's explore this little town first. Corruption. Supply crates. Surely the Kaja Faithless would not turn on us again. Some things are beyond our ken. Only better next time. So many dead. Sent the killers. We're waiting. It hurts now. Why is it giving me these tool tips now? Like these are basic things that I learned a while ago. Fast travel. Should have got out of there. Drawl, Maria. Dan. So there are some named guys here. And she's back. Unharmed. Where's that cauldron again? North of here, past the red drifts. I'll be on my way. I tell you to be careful. But the words would be wasted. You who saw them return to tell it. Faithless killers. The tribe unknown. Merchant! <sighs> well, I hope you're looking to buy. I could use the shards. I'm heading for the border. You're a trader? What do you know of the Karja tribe or their capital, Meridian? I've never left our sacred land, but I've traded with Karja outlanders from time to time. Too fancy for their own good, if you ask me. As for Meridian, it's all they talk about. A city built atop a mesa, with soaring towers, high as mountains. How did the Karja ever come to build such marvels? Slave labor. But their new king has forbidden slavery. <laughs> I guess he cares more about justice than new construction, huh? See anything you like? Sure you do. Okay. Charge a hunter bow. Sharpshooter bow. Shadow sling. What was that? Well, I've uh, I've got the money, but I don't have the crystal braiding.
I could get this. Nora Survivor Heavy. That's all my money. Let's see what we can sell here. Mark for sell. Mark for sell. Bumber! Well, that fits you well. And it'll protect you from the venom those corrupted machines drip everywhere. I didn't buy anything, guy. Bumber Ba says, what's the best Fallout game? Well, I'll be off. I hope business picks up. Thanks. Me too. It's, uh, it's a tough. It's hard to choose your favorites. Uh, so I, I don't really choose between the games. I just like them all. Now. We're picking up a ton of quests. Holy cow. Brave! Mother's crown could make use of your bow. Me? Well, you are a brave, aren't you? We need boar skins. Our stitcher works his hands raw repairing cloaks and armor. There's good boar hunting to the east, past the falls. But there's a machine out there now. When I saw it, I dropped the hunt, ran for cover, knocked an arrow, but then I... No shame in living to fight another day. No, it's... My ring had come loose. That was my luck in the wild. My mother's mother's prized from a machine's jaws long past. You put that much trust in a ring? After all that's happened, I need luck as much as the tribe needs those skins. I'll see what I can find. If you can help, you have my thanks. I'll be at the campfire when you come by again. Luck of the hut. Where does that bring me? Ooh, way out there. And that's one of the corrupted zones. Chad is telling me maps. Maps. Did I forget to get a map? <sighs> well, I hope you look... See anything yet? Oh, a free sample box. Special item, maps. Oh. Map, metal flowers. Map, banyuk figures. Map, ancient vessels. Map, vantages. An explorer's map adds map markers hinting at the locations of vantages. Try that. Let's get them all. Why not? Well, I'll be off. I hope business picks up. Thanks. Me too. Welcome, new member, Bomba TTV. Okay, uh, special items. Okay, how do I use it? D do I not have to read it? Oh, I see. Hey, cool. Ooh, and it shows me all the things I missed down here. Yeah. Well, I have to go down there to get a corrupted zone anyway. That's great. Well, we've got another quest over here. Thanks, Chad. I would have forgotten about maps. <laughs> Sneaky. 
no chill. Bitches. Oh, it's you. The outcast turned seeker. I've heard you're good with bow and spear. Some even say you're the best. I think I hear a challenge in there somewhere. And I'm not interested. I have more important things to do. Oh, I see. The Seeker doesn't have time for us lesser Nora. <laughs> Too busy hunting machines and marauders. Well, I can't claim to have faced the corrupted or danced with demons. But I have earned a few sons at the hunting grounds at Valley Meet. Have you? Or maybe your seeking hasn't taken you that far. You went to a hunting grounds in Valley Meet. Is that even in the sacred lands? Depends on who you ask. It used to be ours, but since the Red Raids ended, the border is a bit... unclear. Most Nora don't go there, but the matriarchs won't cast anyone out for heading that way. As for the hunting grounds, the Keeper's a Karja. He can't refuse anyone the trials, but don't come on too strong. <laughs> He's so afraid of the Nora, he might jump out of his skin. <laughs> How did you win those sons? I took down machines with three different types of arrows. Freeze, shock, and fire. If you aim to take a trial, you'd better come equipped. But I'm sure a seeker is always prepared, right? Do you try to provoke everyone you talk to? Only seekers with red hair and big reputations. Mm. And how often do they come around? You're the first I've seen today. <laughs> if your seeking takes you to the hunting grounds, see if you can earn a blazing sun if you do, you'll know you beat me. Consider it done. Begin the hunting trials. Okay. Well, goodness. Talk to Solai. Where is Solai? Are you Solai? Jan said your niece may have come through here. Nikoa. I I've got nothing to say about that. Please, I only want to help. I'm a seeker headed north. Jan wanted me to help find her. Anything you tell me stays between us. I... I gave her supplies for the journey. She was headed for Day Tower looking for Zaid. Nothing I could say would stop her. Is there anything you can tell me about Day Tower? It's a Karja fort, right at the border. Bastards used to gather Nora captives there, so they could ship them to Meridian for slaughter. I told Nikoa not to go. What's a lone Nora gonna do there? But she wouldn't listen. All she can think about is finding Zaid. What do you know of Zaid? He's a rabid animal, a murderer. The worst of the Red Raiders. Killed my brother while poor Nikoa watched from the shadows. Even as I begged her not to go, part of me wanted her to. I need him dead as much as she does. You can't imagine what it's like. He... He mutilated my brother, and yet he walks free among the Karja. I understand. Better than you think. I'll look for Nakoa when I reach Day Tower. I'm not sure you can reach it. I've heard they closed the gates because of this, this corruption among the machines. But Morea might know more. Just don't mention why you're asking. I won't. I promise. Okay. Wow. What uh, what an update. <laughs> we just picked up five quests or so. Tell you what, we haven't upgraded our character in a while. We've got four points to spend. Okay, let's see. Lure call. Combat override. I could get four of these smaller points. Requires heavy lifter. Oh, cool! Double shot! I think I want to maximize Brave.
Well, let's do this. That costs three. These each cost three. But they both required uh, that one. Well, let's see. These each cost two. I could get two of these. I could use that. But I could use that as well. So let's do that. Okay. Okay, now let's see. Uh Cauldrons. Hunting grounds, tall necks, bandit camps, errands. That one's really close. That one back makes me backtrack a bit, a bit, but it's also really close. Okay, so I could do Luck of the Hunt and then Sanctuary. Well, let's see. A Daughter's Vengeance. Oh, that one takes me way over there. A completely unexplored area, so I'm not going to do that one. And then there's Seeker at the Gates. Also takes me into unexplored area. And that one takes me up northwest. Okay, let's take care of the two down here. Then let's do the cauldron. Then let's go up here, knock out everything that we've already explored, pick up all of these things, and then move on into the Cloud of War area, okay? So, luck on the hunt. Nope, not that one. Sanctuary? Sanctuary. Let's do that. Thank you, Mersel, for the donation. Machines have been driven wild. It hurts now. Our family and friends lie dead. Orders closed. Options Do those pop up on the radar? They don't. Let me do a waypoint to get to this vantage. Because that's closer. I need to get up on that hillside, right? Yeah, I already passed it. But there's a road that I passed. Well, there's another road up here. Nope, that's a stream. All right, hold on. Got to backtrack a bit because there was a bridge over here. Yeah, there, that's what I'm looking for. This should bring me, I believe a road goes right by it. No, it doesn't. So we gotta go up the hill from here. All right, Vantage. What exactly is a Vantage? Let's find out. me? 
What? like a cave down here. You'd think by the name Vantage that it would be a ledge or something that I could use to look over, but... It's right where you left your horse, is it? I was standing right on top of it. See, now it says it's behind me. Oh! I found a vantage point. I wonder what it used to be. The pocket shit storm tour, day three. I was 13. I broke in and vandalized this place. Me and that kid, I... I think his name was Star. It was my first arrest. A real banner day for the Mahdi family. What a messed up kid I was. Okay. Is that it? So I get a cash? And an audio tape. Oh, I see. Got you. I'm supposed to look at what this was like before the bombs dropped, or the before the war. Oh. Okay. Well, that one done. Let's uh, clear the waypoint. Let's head, uh, let's head south. Grab the ancient vessel and the next vantage. Save these for the trail. up later. Ugh, it's just so hard to loot while being on the horse. We got ruined cars. I saw a ruined light post. The cup is just behind me. I passed it. Must be in those ruins. It doesn't appear on my minimap though, does it? In here? I bet you it's in here. Yeah. Okay, where is it?
Nor a prisoner? Oh, those are the guys that I freed. Gotcha. Ancient debris? Is it the ancient debris? Maybe. I can't jump up on that? Oh, great. Read the notebook entry about the vantage point, Oxhorn, says Helivan. Oh. Oh, it also comes with text. Hi, Ma. Like me, Star was a problem kid, but he wasn't really smart enough to get into trouble on his own. I didn't tell him my real motivations, just made breaking into the museum and vandalizing it sound like a fun thing to do. High on duster. So, that, that was the uh, ruins of a museum. I was only 13, but my combined interests in tech and drugs had already acquainted me with the basics of hacking security systems. I used a jammer to bypass a window alarm, and then I got to work. Toppled hollow exhibits, smashed dioramas, yanked display panels off the walls, and smashed those too. I forgot all about Star until he yelped about flying glass. He was just standing there holding his cheek, staring at me with big, scared eyes, whining about how this was crazy and I was going to get us arrested. He was right about the arrest. Getting caught was part of my plan, but wrong about the crazy. My one-boy orgy of destruction wasn't some kind of drug-soaked psychotic frenzy. It was a calculated attack. Not on the museum, on Wyatt. You started dating Wyatt a few weeks before and I didn't like him. I wanted him gone. When you had him over for dinner, one of the many boring things he droned on about was how he served on the board of the museum and oversaw its technology purchases. Anyway, as I was saying, Star was right to think we were going to get arrested. It went down quick. Star began screaming about how he was burning all over, and next thing I knew, I was face down in a mound of expanding foam. The police bots never even warned us. Compared to Star, I got off easy. I've never been on the business end of a microwave gun, but they say it hurts like hell. I was still picking bits of that foam out of my hair a week later, though. Fines and damages came to 18 months of basic income, so it wasn't just shame that my actions brought down on the family, but financial catastrophe, too, which is why the plan backfired. It di I didn't push Wyatt away. I handed him a golden opportunity. He stepped in and paid the bill, and it was only only another month or two before you got engaged. It's weird, but lately I've been dreaming about that night. I keep seeing that first projector I toppled, watching that hologram of a pioneer woman slew sideways and spin to the floor like a bowling pin as the emitter crashed over. A zap and a flicker and she was gone. History shorting out, kind of like now. I wonder if anyone will survive to build museums about us. All right, I saw some ancient debris over here. And now it says it's behind me. Got it. Ancient vessel wayfarers. A cracked and battered vessel, once dear to the old ones, bears the legend Hearts Wayfarers. Sets of ancient vessels can be traded in Meridian for valuable rewards. Okay, got it.
Now to get out of here without being seen. Actually, no, that's the way I need to go. Well, fine, let's get rid of this guy by converting him into a mount. Oh, it's my mount! Uh. <laughs> Rave arrows in these machines must have caused a stampede. So there's also a vantage here. Taking me to the vantage? Oh, it's taking me away from the vantage. Well, let's do this first. Actually, no, let's do the vantage first. It's got to be a top there. Oh, I missed it. Huh, I thought it would be atop the ruins, but I guess not. Well, I got some ancient debris out of it. crate up there. How do I get up there, though? Huh. I don't know how to get up there. Oh, well, it's distracting me. It's over here, in this ruin. All right, so I just passed it. Darth Carrot says this one is tricky. Look at a wall near old billboards. All right. I 
I'm not seeing the billboards. But it should be right here. I should be right on top of it now, yeah. There's the old billboards. Hey. Well, I found out how to climb, but I don't see a... Oh. They better give me an easy way to get down from this. Oh, slow mo time. There it is. Found advantage. Need to piece the messages together. guy who lived before the apocalypse coming back after the apocalypse to reminisce hi ma looking back it's almost comical how much i detested wyatt i hated everything about him his lumpy face his bad skin, his always calm voice, his out-of-style suits, and especially his stupid cowboy name, Wyatt. I don't care how badly you want to assimilate, there's never any excuse for naming your kid after a gunfighter. <laughs> oh, man. Imagine just <laughs> trying to find fault so badly that you're mad at his name because he sounds like a gunslinger. Chininator says, Ox, off to work. Now, glad I could catch the stream. Thanks, Chininator. Glad you made it. I couldn't believe you would replace my Baba, a decorated combat flyer, with a corporate drone. So I made it as hard for you as I could. I was beyond cruel. I accused you to your face of only being interested in Wyatt for his money. Called you, my own mother, a gold digger and worse. Refused to attend the wedding. Then got myself arrested the night before just to cinch the point. It took me years to understand the obvious. Of course you married him for his money. For my sake, not yours. Before Wyatt, the job you were working didn't even cover the rent. Or didn't even cover food and rent. When you didn't get overtime, we s slipped deeper into debt or went hungry. You literally couldn't afford to spend time at home, let alone pay for childcare or rent a nanny bot. Meanwhile, your son was out of control, a truant and a thief, not even out of junior high and already a drug addict. If you'd only had yourself to worry about, I think you would have politely refused Wyatt's interest. You were no stranger to hardship. Compared to what you went through getting out of Kolkata in 2037, simple poverty probably seemed like a cakewalk. You knew how to survive. 
but your son didn't. I was headed nowhere, at ramming speed. You married Wyatt to save me, for the stability and opportunities his money could provide. It wound up working, but not as smoothly as you'd hoped. Before I could be saved, I had to die first. But that's a story for the amphitheater. Oh, the plot thickens. Wow. We've got a subplot here. I love it. All these personal subplots. Cool. Well, uh, let's repel but, uh, down. Oh, cinematic mode. Yeah. <laughs> what a height. That's great. I'm so glad I got those maps. Thank you, everybody. Wow, this is really pretty. Sawtooth. Furl and Muns. There they are. Oh, I gotta kill the sawtooths. Look at the Namox. What, on the note? I don't see a name on the note. Someone's still there. Maybe there's a way to override them. Where would I find it? Sawtooths. Someone's still there. Someone's still there. So she wants me to override them, but I gotta wait until they're not looking in the same direction. How do I get out of here? No, 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 no. I'm stuck in the bushes. How do I get out of here? Oh, no. Ah, oh, there we go. No, no, no. Come on. I 
I got one. Colorado Springs, says Alt Grendel. Oh, is that where we're at? Yeah. Come. No, oh, that was ambitious. Ooh, there's a note there. Okay, I got one. The other one has lost the scent. I saw a hollow tape over here. Shoot fire arrow on blitz canisters. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. I'll get better, promise. Jeff Andritz Show. Transcript, the Jeff and Andriitis Show. 2062. Transcript of each episode or posted within 24 hours on andriitis.holo slash transcripts. Visit andriitis.holo to sign up for Jeff's newsletter. Jeff. And we're back. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You're listening to the Jeff Andriitis Show. Brought to you, of course, by the rational capitalist Immersia Cast Network and let's you know what let's just jump right into this there's this trend of young people who are immigrating to China of all places for work they're choosing to work in China's factories as manual labor I just there's this article today posted on Cafe Intel one of these cultural trend puff pieces fluff pieces these progs are so fond of reporting that immigration to China by American citizens has doubled since 2050. Now, why is that? Well, Cafe Intel, which have, have you believe that corporate sovereignty, the left's current favorite boogeyman, and increased automation have limited their opportunities here in America. Folks, I know I don't have to tell you, tell the world's smartest radio audience, but that is absurd. Do you know what's limited these young people's opportunities poor decision making nothing else right now at this very moment in history the best instruction in the history of education is available to anyone who has the nuts to apply for a modest loan but no these infants these spoiled better back winners with their totally inherited totally unexamined prejudice against the amazing work being done by corporations around the globe and in this country specifically they say oh no i won't go to a corporate school i don't want to go learn something useful when something's uh from someone successful i want to move to vancouver or i want to major in bash core studies from stoned out of my mind on snake university what exactly did you think was going to happen when you graduated with your creative expression degree from some East Coast left-wing edu enclave that nobody's ever even heard of? Folks, we aren't experiencing a brain drain in this country. We are experiencing a shame drain. And I say, bring it on. We're going to open the channels here. If you want to drop in, you know where to find us. As always, no fancy skins, no voice mods. If you're going to be a diligent... If you're going to be a belligerent ass on my show, you're going to do it with your real face, you cowards. I can't tell if they're mocking Rush Limbaugh or uh, Glenn Beck or <laughs> any of those guys. That's clearly what they're going for there. Okay.
Oh, it's underneath them. Got it. You all right, fellas? Oh, you're that brave who was outcast. What are you doing here? Your friend Den told me to come find you. Why are you up there? The Sawtooth ripped our packs from us. Uh, uh, me. Us. Without weapons, this was the best we could manage. Thank you so much for destroying it. Now we can get home. One thing. You won't tell anyone you saw us here, will you? I didn't. At least, not your friend. Need any help getting down? We'll go back on our own. Don't take this the wrong way, but maybe we shouldn't be seen with you, or they might figure us out. Sean says heal. Yeah, I should probably do that. I should have done that before the battle, huh? And Peter says, Ox, you need to get yourself a sharp shot bow to use tear arrows to knock off armor and lower their health quicker. Good call. Uh, a sharp shot bow. I'll keep an eye open. I've been saving up a lot of money. Return to Den. But you know what? I think there might be... That's right. There's a coffee cup nearby. So it could be anywhere in this circle, is that what you're saying? It's not right there on the icon? Alright, well that's a good tip. I'll bear that in mind. There it is, there's the cash. I got my rock back. Oh no, that was the body. Okay. So I still need to find the cash that has the uh, mug in it. It's somewhere in this ruin. Yeah, doggone coffee mug. So Strider done. Ooh! Aha! There it is. Ancient Vessel! Arches! This is so much fun. 
A cracked and battered vessel once dear to the old ones seems to show the terrain of the Gatelands. Sets of ancient vessels can be traded in Meridian for valuable rewards. One more mug to go. I'm having fun just picking up all these rare things. Who needs to do quests? Let's just go treasure hunting. I should probably upgrade my gear, huh? I've got the Karja Hunter bow. You say I need a sharpshooter bow? I just want to see Ox explore the cauldron right now, says Harry. Um, all right, let's see. We've got about an hour and 30 minutes left. Well, um... I need to clear that corrupted zone. There's a vantage down there and two metal flowers. I can always fast travel to get back there. All right, let's turn this quest in and then let's go north to the corrupted zone, clear it, and then go to the cauldron, okay? I bet we could do that in an hour and a half. I found your friends, you know where. They'll be back shortly. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What a relief. You won't tell anyone, will you? Relax. The matriarchs are up singing the hymn of atonement. I think you're safe. You're right. The hymn atones for all of us. Thank you. That's not what I meant, but okay. <laughs> Sky on Facebook with 400 stars. Thank you very much, Sky. Hey, reward box. Cool. What did I get for the reward box? Oh, I've got a lot of treasure boxes here. Sharpshooter bow before the cauldron. You won't get far, says Weird Beer. Well, okay then. Let's see what the merchant has for me. All our songs turned. Well, I hope you see anything you like. Okay, weapons. Sharpshooter, sharp shot bow. Karja sharp shot bow. Is that better than what I have? I can play a movie. Oh. This slow firing but highly accurate bow is best used for long range combat when target precision is critical. Can be modified. <clears throat> All right, I can afford it. Sharp shot bow. Now, do I need special ammo for this? Well, I'll be off. I hope business picks up. Thanks. Me too. Yeah! Okay, so these two arrows with my hunter bow. These two arrows with my sharp shot bow. Precision arrow packs. Tear blast arrow, arrow. So these are expensive to craft. Should have got out of that course. So they break armor. They blow up and make and break armor. Is that what they do? Cool. New cigar. Some things are beyond the machine. The outcast girl. So she survived her wounds. Oh, 
curiosities for dreamers, not graves. And I'm back. Okay. Whoa. Well, let's let's track the cauldron. Level eight. I should be able to do it. Uh, Virenth says tear blast explosive arrows to remove armor and components it doesn't do damage though oh and then try tear out arrows yourself says Pokey McKay Six Slickson says hey Ox what cigar are you smoking I'm smoking another one of my new faves a brick house uh, I think it's a 60 gauge cigar Churchill sized Connecticut leaf wrapper Oh, I lost my mount. Aww. Okay, two pads. Uh, corrupted zone. <clears throat> we got to go through the corrupted zone to get to the cauldron. The question is, do we take time to clear out the corrupted zone first? It's level 15, and I don't believe I am level 15. Uh, well, we just saved, so let's try it. How do you clear out a corrupted zone, I wonder? What's that? Shell Walker site? What's a Shell Walker site? What even is that? Probably should have scanned it first, huh?
What's that moving basket? Resist fire weave and a shock coil. Whoa, what's going on over there? Why does she keep saying that? Oh, it was a Nora Brave! Oh, no! I let an Nora Brave die. Whoops. Okay, well, I went to the Shellwalker site. I still don't know what that was. I guess it just had really rare stuff. Alright, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Corrupted zone. Let's get to the center of it. Maybe we'll figure it out. Ox, don't forget your health potions. Oh, right. Thank you. Okay, that looks like it. Do I have to kill all of those things? Let's try my precision shot. Got their attention. That did it! That cleared it! So all I had to do was kill those uh, corrupted razors or whatever they're called. Slicksten says, hope you stay safe. Would love to try out the cigars. Thank you, my friend. Almost to eat away at metal. Maybe that's what drives the machines mad. Might find a way to use it someday. All right, well, I used a lot of arrows there. Let's uh, craft more. Sweet. Well, one of two done. I got to go south to clear the next one. Uh, but let's do the cauldron. Well, I can. Ooh. I don't have to kill those, do I? But I, I also don't want to get seen. Those ones aren't corrupted. More up on the hill. Ooh. Save point. Trees are getting dense and tangled. Ooh, they're just all over the place here. What is that? 
Oh, that's a grazer. What's this? A ruined cart? Strider's nearby, but the terrain is getting a bit rocky. So maybe I'll just keep walking. A path of dead striders. Watchers. I'll tuck that away. Survivors. Mara Zavid. Well, let's see what he wants. You thank the sun. You look like a fighter, and that's just what we need. My bung brain boss gave us the wrong crate of ammo. It was marked ammunition, but stuffed with Ridgewood. Without that ammo, we're struggling to fend off watchers. And worse. Mm. I'll do what I can to help. Glad to hear it. We need all the... Alarms! Long leg approaching! Uh-oh. What is that? Two arms! Two arms! scared of a chicken in all my life.
Holy cow, what on earth was all of that? <laughs> Did any of the people survive? Yeah, they're alive. At least one of them is, anyway. Julian says it's a robot chicken. I know, it terrified me. Oh, Grendel says, is that a chicken joke? It looked like a giant chicken. I didn't realize there was another one. For the Sun King. Go! <laughs> Holy cow. Son's judgment burns. Take this to heart. Where are they even going? Come on, get in my trip! Junior grade. Oh, wow! Rare part. Okay. You all right there, buddy? <laughs> Not enough fight in this one. Guess that's a yes? Quick save. Oh, well, he kind of lured them way over there, didn't he? I've seen machine hunters before, but none like you, Outlander. You saved our asses. Boss! The song cores are gone! What? That's impossible. Unless... Unless Dereed took them. When the first wave hit us, one of the men ran off. Dereed. I thought he was a coward. Turns out he's a thief, too. He couldn't have gotten far. True, but we're in no shape to go after him. Then I'll get him for you. But this time, I get paid. Can't argue with that. 
Bring those Sankors back and you'll get a share. Okay. Find to read. Uh, <clears throat> Slickston says, okay, this is the last donation I can afford. Hope you smoke a cigar for me. Since I can't afford one, love everything you do. Well, thank you very much for your kind donation, and I will be sure to smoke a cigar for you. Okay. Um, well, I'm trying to get to this cauldron, and I think I'm close, but I just stumbled upon a new quest. Let's see if we can track him. Yeah. Some shards for Yox, says Jay DiCarlo. Thank you, Jay. Oh, well, that uh, used up a lot of my resources, but thankfully I've been saving tons of scrap. Let's see if we can find this thief. Oh, great, another sawtooth. Two of them. Oh, God. Let's see if we can avoid them. Well, I found a guy. Is this sawtooth coming for me or not? I guess not. Hello, Dorit. Who are you? The caravan sent me. Caravan? What caravan? The one you sabotaged. You figured no explosive arrows meant no survivors, no witnesses to your crime. Look, stranger, I have debts. If I don't pay, the dicers will gouge out my eyes. to get his life back! Oh, what was even that? And what is that?
What is that? That's not... is dead <laughs> he's done Let's see if we could loot his body I guess where is he I got all mixed up in that fight and I don't know where the body is okay the call what that's the cauldron I walked all the way over here a bellow back site hold on what was the quest I was on under equipped? Yeah. These will keep. The caravan. Did they live? Yes. I got to them in time. Thank you. As they turn and embrace the sun, may he burn away m my sins. What Same a waste. Of that. At least he died better than he lived. Well, I wasted the trip caster. Ooh. Let's read the entry on those guys. Hard outer casing to protect synthetic muscle. Okay, so weaknesses freeze. Strength, fire. The blaze canister, weakness, fire, and tear. Cargo sacks, weaknesses, all. Gullet, weaknesses, all. Okay. So freeze the body and fire or tear the sacks at the bottom. Whew. These guys. The crate holders, weaknesses all. The lightning gun, weaknesses tear. Power generator, weaknesses all. Shield claw, weaknesses tear. Okay. Well, let's go tell them that we got, we got his supplies back. Oh, let's do so without dying. All right, guys, got your stuff. You're back. And with the Suncors, I see. And Dorid? A, uh, stalker got him. It wasn't pretty. And you beat a stalker. That's worth a bonus. 
Here, take my share. You've earned it. I'll see to the caravan from here. I think the rest of the trip will go smoother. Okay, quest done. Now, uh... Cauldrons. I'm almost there. Save at the campfire. There it is. <laughs> Come on, look at me. You're not going to be the one to stop me. more. Got him. This must be the cauldron Drow was talking about. There's got to be a way in, somehow. Okay, cauldron found. How much time do I have? I'm out of time. No, I just found the cauldron. Don't have time. Rappel down. Well, we know what we're going to be doing next week, don't we? <laughs> we found the cauldron. We cleared the cauldron. And we sadly can't save from the menu. So I'm going to race back to that campfire and save my game. And uh, when we pick up next week, this is what we're going to do. Manual save. There we go. Well, thank you one and all for joining me for my Wednesday live stream of Horizon Zero Dawn. The game is getting more interesting as I play. I'm just falling in love with absolutely everything about this. Um, Hellevin says, next week on Oxhorn Horizon, the cauldron. And that's right. That's exactly what we're going to be tackling. 
I can't wait. Now, uh, as I said at the beginning of the stream, I want to do control in the AWE expansion for this week. So I might have an extra live stream. I might replace the Friday live stream with uh, a control AWE live stream. And I might be tackling Wastelander 3. Uh, just depends on what my schedule ends up look, looking like. But for today, I need to focus on getting my lore video done for the weekend. Because if I don't make good use of it today, then I'm not going to get it done. Because the rest of my week is pretty full. So, wish me luck. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday. And I'll see you very soon with more lore videos and new live streams. Thanks very much for coming. Bye-bye now.